This video was brought to you by Gossy Palm Premium Cotton Socks for Men and Women. Use the promo code BEAM for 15% off your first purchase. You too. Package. Package. Let's run through these real quick. Let's see what we got. My boy, Dennis, if y'all know who that is, the innovator for the Babbler team. Let's go here and show them what we got. Let's go. FX3s right here, Ferrari motor. They said they got the new Ferrari design, high efficiency, torque, brushless engine, five hour runtime on this clipper, specifically ergonomic design, full stage LED battery indicator. Like, this is fire. Damn. Let's see. Ooh, super powerful. And this is your lever system, you just click through. You go all the way down to open them up, and all the way up, all the way up top to be closed as possible. I know these is gonna cut through bulk with ease. These feeling really good. Ooh, these feeling really good. I'm gonna let somebody else feel these. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what you think about them. What the power feel like in them? That's your clicking system. Damn. SRT? <laughs> and Ferrari motor, bro. Muscle memory getting to learn this clipper is going to be very difficult just because we're so used to lever systems. But I feel like these are going to do really well with bulk. So, this is what I've been waiting for. I've been talking to Dennis a minute about these joints. No disrespect to any of the other barbers, but when it comes down to trying to see if these things are going to work for a lineup, I feel like Dennis got to kind of understand and know who he's dealing with when it comes to this lineup. Because I'm going to make these things look beautiful. And I just love how they look. They make me look amazing already. I look premium with these. Woo! Fire. Let's cut them off. Bro, Dennis, the power that these possess is like literally like next to none, bro. Like next to none. I'm loving how these feel. New Ferrari motor. The technology look nice. The blade look completely new. I can tell just like with the end of the blade, feel like these is crazy. I'm probably not even finna set these. I'm finna try these clean out the box for y'all. As you guys can see, but I like indentation, the groove in the back right here with the thumb. Especially like when I'm on this area right here, I place my finger here on the face and my thumb on the back of the clipper where the groove is and I literally can work myself around the corner. I know it's a little different with me and everybody else, how they do lineups. But honestly, like, I know I'm going to be able to efficiently work myself around the curve. I cannot wait to use these right here. Dennis, shout out. I appreciate you for these ones. So this is the new Babyless Shaver. Oh, my God. Just the consistency of this shaver, how it feels. I'm pretty sure it's not as heavy duty as the original gold or the silver one. But this, this shaver feels amazing in hand. I can tell how it feels, feel real ergonomic. The thumb placement indentation right here and in the back just allows you to hold it one or two hands. You can flick this thing, you can create, you know, a fade or a transition or blend the bottom of your tapers or the bottom of your fades a little bit more. I don't know, I feel like I'm into the ergonomic things, how things feel in your hand and that's what's the most important is how they feel in your hand. So for me, I think this is something serious. I think this is something super serious. So I can't wait to use these as well. I think this is super dope. Super dope right here, baby. Let's FX3, the whole setup. Amazing.
clothes with a tube and it's running through the hair consistently. I honestly feel like everybody that has the FX3 is really doing all of their reviews on the trimmers, but you cannot sleep on the clip, but the clip is very powerful. It has two different speeds, but it also has a clickable system in its own guard system, and I think it's super dope, so we're going to get in some footage today with me basically breaking it down. So I don't want y'all to think this is a review, this is still a tutorial, but we give it first time impressions for new tools that I'm not used to at all. My next step is to go in using the trimmers and I want to hit the bottom of the C cup because I want to get this flat as possible as you guys seen in the picture before and that's the most important thing as a barber to get a client exactly what they want. My next step is to go up about a half of an inch with the clippers completely open which is basically the lever all the way down towards me. It's a clickable system. The lower you click your system, the more open the clippers are, the higher you push that button, the close they are. So I put on a .5 guard. My system is all the way towards the bottom, which means the blade is opened all the way up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with a one guard. I'm creating three different guidelines. Open with nothing. Open with a .5, open with a 1, now it's time to fade in between these lines and create gradiency. My next step is to drop them halfway here, which is two notches in. And I'm just getting slight but good transition. And that's the objective behind using new tools. You gotta learn what really works. And as you guys can see, I pushed them all the way up so they're fully closed now. And now to drop them to my .5 guard, I went up halfway here. And I'm just ensuring that I'm using the tip or the corners of the clipper to ensure that I can get transition. Now with the guard off, starting with a completely open, using just the corner teeth of the blade, trying to get it to be as gradient as possible, going two clicks up, which is middle for me, and then the last two clicks will ensure that I'm fully closed, and I'm just basically hitting the taper, trying to make sure that I can get it to turn into a transition. Next step is to go in using the trimmers and I basically want to create a nice guideline in the back. I may be up two inches because the client did want a higher taper in the back, but he wants to ensure that his taper gives some open with my point five. Halfway here. Now fully closed. As you guys can see, it's just every two clicks for me is considered another notch. I didn't pick it up that fast behind the chair. I'm not going through each click at all. I'm every two clicks is considered, you know, a half mark. It's like your regular clippers. When they're open, you'll drop them two clicks, which is the third click in the middle. And then from that point, you'll drop them again, another two clicks, which is the last click on the original Babys FX clicking system for the lever. And I promise you, I'm getting the same type of fade transition between the two. I just found out where I can click and where I can't click. And as you guys can see, we got a transition back there. And y'all know what I like to do on this side. I like to tap in with majority of my supporters. And I just want to tell y'all one thing. Don't tell people your dreams. Do not tell people your moves. And do not tell people your business ventures that you plan on pursuing. Just do it. If you fail, you fail. If you win, you win. Stay solid, creative, and locked into your vision. Because remember, nobody will value your vision as much as you. And that's one of the most important things you can have going on in life. Is making sure that you have a plan and a vision. And working towards that every day day a lot of times people will not value everything that you have going on but that's just like if you own something or own a store and people work for you they won't take care of it as much as you because it's not their store people only value things as much when it belongs to them my next step is to basically go in and I want to use spritz and I want to ensure that I brush into the front line of ensuring that I'm getting this hole of spray to lock into this client's hair it 
everything consistent. Now using my gold blow dryer, I gotta show y'all the unboxing on this too. This gold blow dryer is insane. I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my producer for this beat. This beat crazy. My boy FL Maney, he had just hit me up, asked me could he send me a sample. I said, hey, shoot it, send one. Let's see. And this was fire. So I appreciate you, bro. But I wanna break into my lineup using my trimmers, breaking into the middle because my client has access overhang on his forehead. And I wanna ensure that I can get a nice foundation of this lineup. Using the corner of the blade. Look how the hair just melts with these. Very powerful. They give me like a slim line feel in terms of his body style. They just possess way more power. The T wide on these feel amazing. Amazing. Like this trimmer is very sharp. I want you guys to understand and know if y'all get your hands on this trimmer, take your time. I promise you, this trimmer is very sharp and you will do damage to somebody's skin. My biggest vice with using these clippers is literally tapping and going and not putting a lot of pressure down. They come out the box insanely sharp. This is probably debatably the greatest clipper I've used directly out the box. When I tell y'all, the trimmer is insane. It's insane. So I basically got myself all the way across the lineup and now doing the vertical bars. And now it's time I basically set myself up for my kill shot. It's time for me to get real busy and bring some more life to this thing. So I'm gonna ensure that I can tap around and clean up some of the spots I didn't like at the lineup. My next step is to go with my boy Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Car Using my product, No Drip, which is the color And then also assisting it with my Bean Team Coilless Compressor I get so many people in the comment section asking Like when you get in the shower, is the color gone? No, this color was completely designed to be waterproof And it was designed to be ready Fresh out the bottle, you shake it for two minutes And then you apply it to your client's skin And as you guys can tell, I'm getting a nice clean color A client can hop in the shower Rain can hit their head, they can sweat, the color will not move, it is not a water-based product And with that being said, any water-based product, water-based things cannot move this product It's an alcohol-based, so you need astringents or alcohols to really move this product My next step is to go behind it with a pencil I'm trying to create a different level of contrast The same way women will create contrast within their eyebrows When they're concealing their eyebrows They'll clean the eyebrows up, add any filling into the eyebrows And then go behind it and conceal it and blend it out with a blending brush which am I doing with my trimmers now blending it out and giving it a nice concealed look as you guys can see that color contrast that bounce off his skin from his lineup look how sharp it's looking it's looking really clean I appreciate my client for coming through I appreciate the Babeless team my boy Dennis for allowing me uh, to use these trimmers and use these clippers I honestly really like these clippers and trimmers it's super crazy my full thorough review will be at the end of the video so please stick around and please like share subscribe if you like it what's going on on the channel you like the music shout out to all of the producers that produce for my channel if you like the haircuts i appreciate you so much if you like the education i think it's super dope as well just stick around with me kick it with me because i only post once a week so i want to ensure that you guys get as much education and as much motivation from me as possible throughout the week and as you guys can see man these trimmers i just eating at this man hair and I just think it's insane that I can create super prominent lines with a tool and any biting and this is fresh out the box I'm loving how they feel clean out the box I will not adjust these clippers more look at just how they hit me insane insane and I like that they in a skeletal body so as you guys can see I can get real surgical in the mustache area I can ensure and hit real nice clean tight lines powerful nice t-blade and as you guys can see here they can be used for shaping and scoping as well super clean
step is to lay my client back Angle my raise at a 45 degree angle Bring everything directly back to the lineup Ensuring that I'm getting the lineup as crispy as possible Splicing most hairs But also, like I said, bringing everything back to its original area in the lineup And then hitting the top of the lineup with, against the grain, with the grain I just want to ensure that I'm in my pocket I want to ensure that I'm being very surgical And I want to get this man an amazing look If you guys remember how he looked from the beginning This looked like a totally different guy And that's crazy The power of the lineup can be this strong in someone's presence I just think it's super dope Next step, clean up the eyebrows Because y'all know how we do We don't arch the eyebrows But we give them a different cleanliness look Just to overall bring the whole look together Throughout the client face And now it's time to put the shaver on them Super clean, super ergonomic, super comfortable, very light in the hand, very powerful. I love it. It's unfortunate that we get clients that come in looking like this in 2021, but as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. Without further ado, y'all know how I give it up on my channel. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag glass. Hashtag glacier gang. Y'all know how we give it up. It's 2021. It's year of transformations. We shaking every client back that hit my chair. If you're able to make it through this video, I appreciate you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. And may God bless. <laughs> it, was snap, bro. it looked better with that with, when you took it down, though. Yeah. That's what it's about, though. Rock with it? Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. All right, YouTube, y'all seen that? That's gonna be crazy. How long was it since the last, like, the last one you had? The last lineup? Uh, about. Two months, three months. Two to three months without a lineup. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Join in the comment section. I think that's gonna be a banger. That was just my first time using both of these clippers and this trimmer. I think this one is super fire. I think this trimmer is crazy, crazy. I did not set it. It's fresh out the box. Shout out to my boy Dennis from the Babless team for sending these. I appreciate you. And until next time. All right, so quick, simple breakdown of using the trimmers, the FX3 trimmers. When I tell y'all, these right here, they hit so hard fresh out the box. I don't know if it's like where they placed that is perfect. It slide perfectly up top, so my finger, anytime your finger gets stuck sliding, you can tell something is overlapping. I honestly feel like these right here are set perfect. The power is undeniable in these. Very ergonomic. Like I said, the curve in the beginning, very ergonomic. It was easy to like maneuver and get through the line and create prominent lines. And I think these right here are the future. I think these are everything that the slim lines lacked. I'm not bashing company to company. Slim lines, some of the best wireless trimmers out there, but these personally just possess way more power. I feel like the TY blade that sits on these right here compared to the TY that come out with the new slim lines, it feel like, like a Dodge Neon if you put 28 inch rims on it. Now this right here, feel like a tesla when you switch the wheels like nothing changes at all like i feel like this is some of the best technology i got right now i honestly feel like this trimmer is the truth it hit it cut through hair perfectly beautiful i think this is one of the best trimmers on the market right now especially for its price range and just for its compactness i think this is super clean so this one was super fire this is an a plus in my book if you can get these get your hands on them asap a plus in my book this right here, the FX Clipper. Now the clickable system at the beginning was a little hard and difficult to get through, but once I start to slowly fade, I set in my ball line with my trimmers, boom, I dropped them down, created an open line, I went halfway, faded, closed, faded, and then my fade was gone. Like I didn't really feel like I had to pay attention to my number system, I just went up two notches. Every two notches is considered a half for me. So on here, I started open, Went up two notches and went up another two notches, faded out. I honestly feel like this is an easy fade and clipper. I feel like this clipper handles bulk very well. Clipper is real consistent in terms of its cut times, RPMs is up, the ergonomic shape, how it feels. This is a banger as well. It will take a lot of barbers more time to adjust to a clickable slide system because we're so used to lever systems. But if you can adjust this trimmer or this clipper specifically, will make your job easier. Cutting through bulk, solidifying guidelines and knocking guidelines out really fast and handling bulk, this clipper is amazing. That's just my 
quick first first time try impression I want to get a full breakdown on these later down the line but for right now just as a quick breakdown first time using as y'all seen in this video fire these right here insane insane the smoothness to them how they feel in the hand I think this is the best shaver in terms of how it feels in my hand these and the all metal versions by them are amazing but this one right here specifically I like it ergonomic plastic type and it don't feel cheap plastic it feel like durable plastic but I like the consistency of it how it feels so overall for me my first day I'm giving everything a A plus I enjoy using most of the tools in here today the trimmers clearly are my favorite as you guys can see I honestly do love this whole setup Dennis again I appreciate you for giving me this FX3 setup this was super dope y'all will see more of these in the future especially the trimmers the trimmers are crazy they cut through here amazingly they don't need to be shifted or anything like that this clipper and these trimmers and the shaver are it this was my quick first time impression review on the Babyliss Pro FX3s. I hope y'all like it. I hope y'all like some of the work that y'all seen in the video. Without further ado, it's time for me to get up out of here.